earlier because this is the actually the second attempt at recording this you mentioned that uh you, you know you were not happy in school as well and that could have contributed to your you know wanting to become a filmmaker or escaping into film yeah absolutely i mean i i, I grew up in the 80s and, and 90s and as a mixed race child in those days it was never um it was sometimes a bit difficult you know there, there was a little bit of um, hardship growing up in those times you know the bullying would happen and 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 so forth i'm not saying my childhood was extremely bad because it wasn't but these things kind of had a little bit of a detrimental effect on my confidence as, as a person so film was that way to kind of just escape that and because there was no judgment it was just pure pure realm of escaping into another world that someone had created and and for me it was a nice escape to escape into so what kind of films were you watching Oh, I watched all the classic films. I mean, I grew up watching all the Hollywood type films with your, you know, your Star Wars, Back to the Future, you, you know, all those classic Indiana Jones, all those real classic films. But I kind of, my because my mum was a real big horror fan. I ended up watching a hell of a lot of horror films when I was a kid. Probably a lot earlier than I should have been. Being a dad now, <laughs> I realised I was watching those films way too early. But it, it kind of started this kind of seed of going you know loving horror because i'm a huge horror fan um and and kind of going down that realm but yeah i watched most of the classics that you can think of but i also because of obviously a mixed race I, I grew up watching turkish films as well so i had that embedded into me as well watching the classic turkish films as well any titles uh that you could mention the turkish films are, um well, I mean, a lot of them now are known as uh, Turk exploitation trash films <laughs> that I watched. Obviously, the man who saved the world. Um, you know, Junaid Arkin was a big, um, a big influence in my childhood life because I grew up watching his films. And now, he's known in the West as George Arkin. His name is is known in the West, and he's been in a lot of what is considered B movie rip off movies of Hollywood. And so, I, I grew up watching those movies as a kid. Um, but also the, the kind of films I watch, Yilmaz Gune, I don't know if you've heard of him as a filmmaker. He won the Palme d'Or a couple of times, I think, as a filmmaker. So his films were, were a bit of an influence as a kid because he was probably the most well-known Turkish filmmaker um, around at the time. So he was he was a bit of an influence because I thought, oh, he's Turkish and he's doing well. It, you know, it was a bit of an inspiration for me. 